Seven, you know, so I'm glad. I love to do it. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, it's Matt Pinfield. We're backstage at the Big Ticket, 1029 Jacksonville, Florida, and it's Fan Pass. I'm Matt Pinfield, hanging out right now with David Sarn and Lewis from the band New Politics. Guys, great to meet you, man. I can't believe Thank we're you. neighbors. You guys are actually in Brooklyn, right now in Williamsburg. You yeah. moved over here, right? But I love the, the stuff we're talking about, about the story that you guys had originally got together. You were writing songs as friends together for other projects or for solo ones, and then you decided to get together. Tell me about that all yeah, it's, it's wild. Tell me, what was it like? Was I, I think we do a lot of that at the moment with all like, you know, the success and things that are happening. Yeah. I think uh, I think we get these moments where we're just like, how does how do the like stars align and how does that all work? Because there's so many amazing bands and so many people that, you know, have these dreams that we have and it's it's just crazy. It's I don't I don't know how those things really work. Yeah. It's like a philosophy of its own. Yeah. But then in some way you just kind of meet in the oddest ways. Like we met Lewis when we first moved here yeah. through a mutual friend that now lives with us and actually works at our management. Yeah. Which Lewis, is just where like, were you from originally? Where you I'm, uh, I grew up in Long Island, New oh, York. Oh, so yeah, so you're right yeah. there. Yeah. Bless his soul. Yeah. Bless awesome, my soul. man. <laughs> so guys, when you talk about Sweden and Denmark and places like that and music scene where you guys were starting out, what were you listening to growing up as kids? What were you, what was, it, what was inspiring For, you? Funny enough, we listened to a lot of American music and a lot of British music. Yeah. So I think- Who were your favorites? Like, Oh, I think, I think it, it all changed. I would say my all-time favorite was probably Nirvana. Yeah, <laughs> I was very oh, little, yeah, but great, yeah. but I love I love Nirvana, and I, I think the f the funny thing is you have you have these bands that somehow they touch the entire world, you know, and they, and they make this. It's somehow it's 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 more of a lifestyle in some way, you know. It you, really you, is. You come together because of those bands. You and buy, that's what you, you listen you're to. Like, you're like you love the lifestyle of the band and everything that it represents. It's like and you, totally. And you find like-minded people to right. hang with. And, and then you find with. like great songs. You find great bands that like you know come for 15 minutes and disappear. Or you yeah. find. I mean, and then there's all types of genres, genres and stuff that inspire you in different ways. Yeah. So I yeah. We're very we're very open minded to music, I think. And that's what I hear in New Politics music and what you guys do too, because I hear so many different things in there, which is very cool. Yeah, totally, yeah. You know? So what was the experience like the first time you guys decided, all right, we're over here, we're we're overseas, we're in the Nordic area, we're we're gonna move to Brooklyn. What was that experience like when you when you came over? <laughs> was I don't, it, was I don't weird, think, what was the first thing that you experienced when you I came I think over? we were so excited that like a major label wanted to sign us yeah. and like we had all this interest coming from overseas, you know. Denmark has like five million people and you know it's like we were doing music and rehearsing in a basement yeah. and uh, in Nabo and like the north side and stuff and it was like all those sort of things were just it went so fast we were just like spoiled teenagers I don't think we thought much about it we're just like you know we just jumped over the edge and went with it and once the first cycle of that album and, and the touring ended I think that's where we went through the whole culture shock and you know, is this really what we You're want? Like, wow, what are we doing? So yeah. you moved to Williamsburg. What, were, what was like the first show that you went to see when you were in, in Brooklyn and New York? Bands that you went to see that you were going to check question. out? I, th I think we went to see a Crush band first. Yeah. Who was that? Um, I feel like, I actually can't remember. What yeah. did we see the first show? I don't know. It's hard to say sometimes. You probably saw a lot in a, in a very short period of time. Like we see shows like mainly when we're like at places like this. Like festivals. Yeah, yeah like festivals. We don't have, I mean we tour like 300 days a year. Which is great. It's fun though, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Especially like our position, like we just got off a two month tour and like so many of the venues were just sold out or completely packed missing, you know, yeah. 70 or 100 tickets and stuff and it's just wild to like. I mean, I, I remember being, I think it was in, in the House of Blues in Chicago and it was, you know, jam packed and I was there and like, like almost like a blackout sort of, you know, I was still doing what I was doing, but it was like, I can't believe that all of these, you know, people took the time out to buy a ticket and now they're here singing their lungs out to so like songs. songs that we just like, you know, that have their own story and yeah. now we're creating their own story among people themselves and, and like, yeah. Wow, how do they like learn all those lyrics? And I know exactly how they feel because we're we're those kids as well. Which is know? great, yeah, because as a music fan. Now, when you wrote Harlem, right, and then the Bad Girl in Harlem, the, the idea that what was your first experience in Harlem, and what was your impression of it as a kid over there in Denmark? 
you know, what do you, well, tell me about I, it. I think, actually, Did you think of like the Apollo? Did you think about like the great soul totally. music? What was the thing? I, I think that place, that place was definitely the, the Apollo, but it also was a place that we heard was super dangerous. Yeah. That's, it's so weird, and then you get there and you know, it's just a, it's such an important part of New York. Yeah, it is, absolutely. You know, it's like, it's such a... And the whole like, the whole movement of like hip hop and, yeah. Yeah. you know, I mean, comedy, like you're saying, or yeah. just uh, there's so much talent also because there's so much creativity. Yeah, where you have so many people in a situations, small space, right? Yeah, totally. Forced active. to be together, yeah. which is very cool. The Absolutely. interactive side, which makes New York what it is, right? Yeah, I totally. mean, I, I loved it. I was excited. I had like a huge phase in my uh, when I was growing up where I, you know, listened to a lot of like old school hip hop and who were you liking back then? Were you listening to like you know like It was like Tribe Called Quest, was Yeah, like stuff like side, that and Rakeem like that, yeah. and like yeah, you know yeah, Big Daddy Rakeem. Kane and, Oh yeah. You know, all of that yeah. that stuff that gets you going. Yeah. But all um, great stuff. I mean I love I love the stuff now as well, but I mean it just that sort of like takes me back to a time when I used to break dance and yeah. you know like so I just for me it was just kinda like, oh my god, I'm in like the hub. I'm like where it started. Yeah. It's like so wild. Have you been into the have you been inside the Apollo yet or no? No, no I've never been the, inside yeah. it. Yeah. No. We gotta figure out a way to get you guys to do a show there, like in a bunch of groups together. Oh, that, that would be insane. Awesome. That's a great it's such that a would great be an venue, honor. man. Yeah, Wouldn't that be cool? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do Harlem up there. You gotta do New Paul's gotta do a show in Harlem. <laughs> it's gotta happen. You gotta figure sick. it out, you know what I mean? Even if we wait until you watch the next album. Totally. You know what I mean, guys? I want one last question. The festival experience for you. What's the best thing that's happened on the festival experience to you? And what's like the worst experience? I, you've I had? think I think one of the best ones is that you never really know what to expect. And the, one of the most amazing things about playing live music is that you you somehow this electricity, like kind of like if you're at a football game, yeah. you know this thing spreads where it's not one person, it's everybody. Yeah. And when that happens, as being a band on stage at a festival, it's unreal. Um, that I would say it's the best one. We tr we tried it, you know. And you made some new friends too with some of the bands, like oh, you meet people, yeah, that, or you, like, you see and, people that you wouldn't see otherwise. You're like, wow, right, man, I definitely. love this. Yeah, or like yeah. there's there's many here yeah. that we've seen and toured with and like done so many shows with, and it's like. You know, it's like we can barely make it out to the interview because everyone's just like, wow, oh, you know. It's like, like to hang out together. Yeah, and you're all like, excited. It's but it's awesome. definitely the energy. It's like you know that there's so much, so many great songs and bands, and you know that like, you know that in festivals you're almost guaranteed that people are there to just like unplug yeah. and just like, you know, get lost in it all, yeah. which is like, which is really the essence of a festival. It is. You know, it's, it's great. Like, I think it's that's, that's what's fantastic about it, guys. Yeah. Like, but I really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out, man. Thanks for having us. Talking to us. New yeah. politics, man. It's great. Now that I'm your neighbors, we're going to yeah. hang out sometime. We got to hang out with you guys. We're Lower East Side or something. Yeah. Yeah. we got to get that we'll Harlem gig booked. We'll do it halfway. We'll do 50-50. Yeah, absolutely, guys. It'll be fantastic. It's Fan Pass Backstage, 1029's Big Ticket. And I'm Matt Pinfield hanging out with New Politics. <laughs> guys, it's so great. You know what's funny? It's amazing because...